Quit apologizing for your flaws. Now that you've honestly acknowledged your flaws by filtering them, if you're human, you still have a few flaws on the table. That's perfectly okay. You might be thinking to yourself, I really can't live with these. These are holding me back. These are dragging me down. Well, not quite. The first thing you need to do is quit apologizing for your flaws. You do this by stopping the blame. That's right. You have to quit blaming yourself. Don't think that you are the only person in the world that has a problem with exaggeration, with big feet, big eyes, premature balding, or whatever flaws you're struggling with. You're not unique in that sense. Quit beating yourself up. Next, quit blaming luck or fortune. People do this all the time. When you do that, you are giving up a tremendous amount of control over your self-definition. You're basically saying, well, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. That's just the way it is. It's like that sometimes. No. Stop blaming luck or fortune. There is something you can do about it right here, right now. You do have a lot to say about the matter. It's not a foregone conclusion. Most importantly, you need to quit blaming others. It's easy to blame your parents. As I mentioned earlier, we tend to hurt the most the ones we love the most. The truth is, when you blame others or situations out of your control, you are letting go of power in your life. That's the only thing you are achieving. You are giving other people the power if you blame them. How? Well, if they caused your problem, then they have the solutions. For example, someone might have called you fat when you were little. Until there's emotional reconciliation with that person, it will be hard for you to feel better about yourself. This person started that chain reaction, and you'll keep blaming that person. Well, here's the problem. That person has moved on with his or her life. You haven't. It's bad enough trying to change yourself. Can you imagine changing that other person? Getting them to have a change of heart is almost impossible. This is why you have to liberate yourself by stopping the blame. Stopping blaming others is the first step to responsibility. At this point, the solution is no longer the other person. You no longer have to worry about the past. It is impossible to fix this problem if the past is the issue. The only solution, of course, is some sort of time machine. We still don't have that technology. Instead, you have to take responsibility for how you respond to these stimuli. When you stop blaming others, you take the power back. You're no longer looking at these people as the source of the transition or the solution. Instead, you take responsibility for how you feel about what they did to you or how the situation played out. You have to step up to this. You have to accept this responsibility. But I know it hurts. After all, it's not your fault, right? But it is your responsibility to change how you respond today. If you choose to respond the same way you did yesterday, nothing's going to change. The power will always be in somebody else's hand or in the past. Those are people and things that you cannot control. You have to step up now. Stop waiting for someone to come around. Stop waiting for something to happen for you to change. You have to take the initiative and responsibility. Again, this is not easy, nor is it convenient. However, it is absolutely necessary for you to quit apologizing for your flaws. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.